Hi folks, my name is Craig Thompson. I work here at RV Sales of Oregon. Great place to come and buy an RV. Today I'm going to show you why uh, we are featuring a 2006 Winnebago Journey diesel pusher. Comes with a Freightliner chassis. Uh, it's got real low miles on it. We just got this in and it probably won't last long. Winnebago's got a great reputation. Now this is a 36 foot 2006, two slide outs. Uh, they're probably known for the safest motorhome in America to drive because everything is attached to a frame or the windshields encased by the steel frame of the coach. Um, if there ever is an accident, you're not going to have uh, appliances flying around, refrigerators coming loose, because it's all anchored down to a frame somewhere, somehow. Winnebago is very, very good about that. Now, this particular unit has real uh, panoramic view windshields. Um, it's got the bus, bus look on the front, bus cap. It's a diesel pusher. It's a um, 300 cat and uh, air ride, air brakes, Freightliner chassis. Let's come on down here and it's got the awning that is a two-step electric awning that's enclosed and so the fabric stays nice. The windows are all double pane windows. The uh, storage is just bar none. You can't beat the storage in a Winnebago. Lots and lots of storage. This actually goes way back there, and your fresh water tank is right here, your water pump is right there. You can winterize it right here with a little old can of, let's say a gallon of uh, antifreeze. You can winterize your own coach real easy. Let's open this door. And we have part of your ladder that goes on the back, the extension that keeps kids off climbing your ladder. Again, look at all the basement storage. Look at the size of this propane tank. And it looks like it's got an adapter all set up should you want to use your propane uh, barbecue grill. So you can actually attach that to this, which is very nice. This is your where your exhaust, where your furnace comes out. And the reason you see this uh, screen over top of here, it eliminates bees from going in and making nests. And uh, you know, if bees go in there and make a nest, sometimes you wonder why your furnace won't light. It's usually something like that. So this is pretty good to have, all right? This is your hot water heater. Um, I'll open this up. And your hot water heater is here, gas, electric, both. Your coach batteries and your chassis batteries are all right here in the back. Pretty nice feature to have. This is your air intake for your uh, heat pump. You know, uh, instead of having the air conditioners up on the roof, Winnebago's made some models that has a heat pump, just like you have in your house. So you'll really like that feature, okay? As we walk around, this is talking about the 300 horsepower we just talked about on the diesel. This is that ladder and I was showing you on the inside where the, uh, the uh, extender ladder hangs onto here so when you want to get up there you can get it. <clears throat> this is uh, back where your radiator is for your diesel pusher and this has a master disconnect switch which is very important. So if somebody leaves the light on, or it just keeps your batteries from going dead. It's just a master switch. It's like a marine one. I have one on my boat, and boy, I sure like it, okay? <clears throat> it's got the full tow package underneath here. It's all set up if you have air brakes on, on your car. It's got the airline there. It's got your electric, electric 12 volt, and it also has your big two inch receiver so you can tow your car. It's all set up for towing. And over here is part of your side radiator. Again, we've seen another radiator in the back. But the more air you get for a diesel pusher, the better the engine runs and the cooler is just much better. Here's your bedroom slide out. And underneath the bedroom slide out, it's got a door that opens this way. It's called a automotive door. 
and it has your uh, hot and cold water shower back here, your city water hookup, your 50 amp service for your shore power. Everything's real easy to get to, and look at that door, easy to open and close. Winnebago sells a lot of journeys. They just, the way they build them and design them, they're all what they call user-friendly coaches. Everything is easy to get to, and everything's easy to hook up. Like none of this is hanging outside where you can damage it. It's all inside. And you can put a uh, soap dispenser here. Uh, you can always take a hose and rinse this all out because it's all nylon. Really nice. And this folds up here and latches like that. Okay. Pretty easy and clean. That's what it's all about. Again, all the way down on your main slide out, you've got full basement storage underneath the slide out. So you can put longer things in there like golf clubs or fishing poles or whatever. And you notice the slide outs both have awnings over top of them. That eliminates a lot of the debris and leaves and stuff. So this is where you fill your fuel tank up here. Easy to get to right by the driver's door or the driver's side. And then here is another front compartment for storing things. Your diesel generator is located in the very front of the coach and it goes out with a touch of a button. But it's a beautiful coach. Uh, what I think we ought to do now, if you would like to come inside, we'll take a look at it and I'll show you what a good looking coach looks like. Okay, as we step in this coach, front door entry just like a bus. It's got electric shades for the windows, which is nice. So when you're driving down the road, you don't have to get up and go try to pull it down while you're driving. You just push a button and the drivers and the passenger. Again, this is a freight liner, air ride, air brakes, a fun coach to drive. Uh, freight liner gives you a better turning radius left and right. They have a 50% turning radius. Um, fun coach to drive. Allison transmission, six speed with two overdrives. It's got uh, hydraulic computerized leveling right over here. Heated mirrors, remote control. It even has an exhaust brake, so you don't have to be riding your brakes going down the mountains. You just flip the switch on. Beautiful, beautiful windows, lots of cabinetry. Uh, the TV centrally located, so it can be seen anywhere in the coach. It's equipped with surround sound system, lots of electronics. A tile entrance floor, like a laminate floor, easy to clean. The steps when you come in and out, you don't have to deal with carpet right there, which is nice. And as we come in here, not only do the driver's seat and the passenger seat turn around, but it's got a, a lounge chair. It's more of a Euro chair. Really nice and very comfortable with a little footrest. You got a little work table here. If you don't need it, you can put it down, out of the way but it's nice to have if you have friends and family. It's got a nice big sofa sleeper, which is very important when you have company. Uh, lots and lots more cabinetry over top the slide out, over top the sleeper. It's got a lot of cabinet. Their roof is all, uh, it's almost like a, uh, I don't think it's a leather, but it's like a soft touch leather. And the roof is all crowned, so water doesn't lay on the roof. And uh, it's very well insulated. Um, ducted air conditioning. Um, again, in the kitchen, it has um, laminate floor, so if you spill something, it's not going to be hard to clean up. Um, I'm closing the doors to this refrigerator. It's actually a four-door, huge refrigerator. It's got an ice maker in the freezer up here. A um, lot, a lot of, it's probably well, that's one of the biggest ones they make for a motorhome. Uh, again, you got a convection oven, microwave. You got some real nice Corian counters. You got a water filter. Again, double pane windows all around, so it's an all season coach. Um, this one's equipped with a dinette booth instead of a table and chairs, which is nice if you do need to make it down into a bed for grandkids or something, you've got more sleeping ability. This sofa is not only just a sofa sleeper, but it's an, what they call an electric. See, it's got an electric button here. So you don't have to try to scissor it down. You just push the button and it makes into a bed. Pretty nice. Again, more cabinet all the way down on top of the slide out, all the way down. 
Okay, and next to the refrigerator, again the four door is really nice. It's kind of neat, you just push this button and pull this out and you've got full pantries. Okay, you got the upper pantry and you have a lower pantry. So it's pretty handy for canned goods and things. Winnebago's always thinking, you know. They've been around a long time and you know when the economy gets bad and things get tight and tough like they have in the last couple of years, and Winnebago is one of the few manufacturers that are still in business and still making motorhomes. So now, as we walk down here, going into the bathroom area, notice on the wall here, it has all the, uh, your monitor panel, your air conditioning, um, what condition your house batteries are in. This unit has solar up on the roof, so you see the red light, it's showing it's charging right now. If you want to start your generator or stop it here, it's got an electric hot water heater and it has a gas hot water heater. But all, they put everything right here, so you don't have to look all over for where to turn what on or, it's all right here. Very good move. Now this has a, a bathroom sink right here and a lot of counter space and a lot of cabinetry with drawers and cupboards. And it's got a nice bathroom with a private toilet. It's all porcelain, it's not made out of plastic. It's a real McCoy. Nice little bathroom. Um, across from the uh, sink in the bathroom has a glass shower door, which is kind of nice. Nice big shower. And a place to hang things on the outside of it, like your towels or whatever right here. And just a beautiful bathroom, okay? Now let's walk in the bedroom and I'll show you a really nice bedroom. Now this bedroom, again, has a huge bed in it. I don't know if it's a king, but it's a, if it isn't, it's a large queen bed. I think there's only a few inches that tell the difference, but again, you've got overhead cabinetry all the way across the back, so you've got lots and lots of storage. You've got access under the bed for extra chairs for your, uh, or whatever you want to put under there, bedding. Um, Two big nightstands with plug-ins on both sides. This has more drawers over here. You've got a counter space uh, below the TV should you need counter space for work like a work table. And now, this is that bedroom slide out. This whole wardrobe slides out. So you can see how deep that is. And look at the room you got. I mean, that's the first thing they want to know. Where am I going to put my clothes? Well, I think you just found it. Very, very nice. So, again, this is a 2006 36 foot double slide Winnebago Journey diesel pusher, very low miles, immaculate condition. You need to come down and see what a good buy we have on this. Thank you.